Now, if you're in the corporate world, you probably are using an Exchange server, which means you could actually go view other people's calendars. I'm going to go to the Home tab. There's a button over here about Open Someone's Calendar. Now, in earlier versions of Outlook, you could only open someone's calendar if they shared it with you. But in fact, nowadays, if you open someone's calendar, you can automatically see when they are free and busy without them having to do what we used to call publish their schedule. So I'm going to click here to open a calendar from my corporate address book. And maybe I'm going to look, look up somebody who works in uh, room 10. And I'm going to open up uh, student 1005's calendar. Click on their name and then click the word calendar, or maybe a quicker way, just double click on their name. And I'm choosing OK. And now I can see that person's calendar as well. And I can see what they have on their schedule. Although by default, I usually only see when they're free and busy. In this case, this person has chosen to share their calendar with me, so I can see a little bit more information. And I'd like to introduce this little arrow here. As I hover, it says View in Overlay Mode. I'm going to click on that, and it literally lays these two calendars right over top of each other. If I click on my calendar, then my stuff shows up in bold letters, and the other person's stuff is kind of in the background here. If I click on that person's calendar, then his stuff becomes bold, and my stuff fades kind of to the back. And I can do that with more than one person's calendar. I'm going to go back to that Home tab. I'm going to open another person's calendar from my global address list. Also in room 10, I'm going to open up uh, 1006's calendar with a double click, choosing OK. So here's their calendar, and I can overlay that one over top of the other two. I really enjoy that overlay mode. In earlier versions of Microsoft Outlook, you couldn't really compare each other's calendars and find when you have free and available uh, times, unless you were in the meeting schedule. But we should go talk about the meeting scheduler here for a couple of minutes. So for the moment, I'm going to hide those other two calendars. There's a couple of ways to do it. There's check boxes over here. Or I could go up here and actually click the close button for one of their calendars. And that removes the check mark down here as well. And then maybe I'll remove the check mark and see how that removes the calendar. Those two things are interdependent. So again, put our video on pause, go up here and open someone else's calendar. 